So welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about how to earn XP in Fortnite Season 3. So in this video you will find out how to get XP fast. But before we get into that and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe with post notifications on. Also if you guys really watch this video until the end be sure to let me know down in the comments so I can give you a heart in the comments. The next thing I want to show you guys in this season which is going to be so useful for you is my harpoon gun trick. I made this trick like last season so if you see anyone using this trick it's probably for me but this trick is so amazing and because the whole map is underwater you have a lot of fishes and you can do this in team rumble and earn so much xp guys this is going to be an ultimate trick for you i will probably go in depth in another video but you get more more fishes now you see this is 380 xp like nothing now you guys are gonna say well what's the trick you're just fishing with the harpoon gun well here is the trick well you can actually just use the harpoon gun as much as you want but always keep it on one charge that's the most important thing to this tactic you guys will absolutely love it because it's so easy to do now i'm gonna let this guy kill me and look at this once i die oh my god he's bad so once he kills me the harpoon gun will reset so you will have another 10 charges on your harpoon gun look I, I didn't edit anything this is like real time so then you can just like glide around find more fishing holes and just fish the ultimate thing you can do in this season because the whole map is underwater so there's a lot of fishing places that's the ultimate trick for this season if you play team rumble uh, you gotta try this this only works in team rumble so another thing you guys have to do like while playing team rumble is don't focus only on getting kills like getting kills is cool and all but it's way better to get assists in team rumble i'll, I'll show you why because <laughs> you waste so much time just trying to get one kill just focus on getting an assist do not focus on the kills assists give you 120 xp 125 xp well the kills give you 150 but the thing is if you just tag once so if i tag this guy for example once yep that's it if a teammate kills him we will still get that assi assist regardless you see i i got the assist right now even though i damaged them about i don't know two minutes ago it's a really great thing because you can just like just try to tag someone like this is enough one tag is enough first you have to do the challenges so if you go to your battle pass of course and you go to your map challenges you will have multiple challenges for each week for the week one challenges i have actually made a video for all week one challenges and i will do all of the weeks um in this season so be sure to subscribe for that trust me you guys will love these so do all of the challenges they give you a lot of xp about thirty-five thousand. Uh, if you don't do challenges i'm sorry but you're making a mistake so that's the first way of course of doing challenges but you guys probably didn't know that you have quick challenges on the left side of your screen in chapter 2 season 3 and the biggest new addition to the xp gaining in this season is the punch cards so punch cards are amazing for gaining xp as you have a lot of punch cards and i can't wait to finish all of these punch cards so what do the punch cards do for example we have this bullseye uh, sniper rifle eliminations for this you will have to eliminate 10 people with the sniper rifle so you can get a punch card from it so this is a great way of earning extra xp during this season because you have 49 different punch cards so as you can see there are some of the punch cards that actually aren't discovered this is another way of earning extra xp during this season i recommend you guys do all of the punch cards as they will give you a lot of xp and you guys will get that level 100 very very easy in fortnite season 3 so these are all the punch cards for fortnite season 3 i do recommend you guys check these guys out it's the double tap site so the first one is a one survivor place in the top 10 you will have to do that three times 10 times 25 100 times 250 and 500 times this is what i think those numbers mean 
Now the second one we have is Victory Tour, which means win a match in a different game modes, solos, duos, squads, Team Rumble and Unknown, which is likely an LTM. And these are the different matches you have to win, for example, you know, in different game modes, uh, so you can get all of that Victory Tour punch cards. Now the next one is Hoarder, uh, simultaneously hold 999 of each building resource. So that one is pretty uh, self-explanatory, so you have to harvest a lot of stuff. The next one we have is Stockpile, which is Harvest Building Materials 1000, 10,000, 100,000, 250,000, 500,000 and 1 million. So uh, you will have to just, you know, farm a lot of materials and I think after you get uh, to 1 million you will have that final punch card for your challenges. Now the next one is living off the land, uh, gather or consumed foraged items. Uh, you will have to do 5, 25, 100, 500 and 1000. You will have to just uh, consume foraged items. I do recommend if you guys want to go to do that, go to the orchard. In the orchard, you can find a lot of apples. Uh, the next one we have is lumberjack, uh, destroy trees, which is 2,500, uh, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000. So a lot of different challenges. Uh, then we have care package, uh, search supply drops. Um, uh, we have luck of the llama is the next one. Search treasure llamas balloon buster shoot down a supply drop uh, finders keepers search rare chests uh, munition scavenger search ammo boxes uh, treasure hunter search chest which is probably going to be the easiest one since we do search a lot of chests but i don't know who will be able to search 10,000. i'm not sure about that uh, enforcers uh, eliminate players so yeah again 5,000 eliminations in one season, maybe too much. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Uh, punch card, uh, deal damage to opponents, 2.5 million. Wow, that's going to be the final punch card. So <laughs> this is going to be very, very difficult for this season. The next one is get off my lawn, eliminate marauders. Now, the marauders are the guys that drop uh, from the skies. And uh, these guys will drop all over the map. If you see a group of like bots just running around those guys are marauders and you have to eliminate 5 25 100 500 and 1000 the next one is d4 like a boss eliminate henchmen uh again you, ha you have the numbers right over here uh after that we have weapon whisper get an elimination with different guns the guns should be pistol assault rifle submachine gun shotgun sniper and explosives so yeah <laughs> very very interesting bullseye eliminations with snipers again this one we had previously uh from downtown eliminations from 150 meters so that's a pretty good one as well so the next one we have is trusty sidearm which is eliminations with pistols uh, i call shotgun eliminations with shotguns lock and load eliminations with assault rifles so these are like the basic the really basic ones uh pick your battles eliminate an opponent with a pick pickaxe i think that's uh that's just one so you just have to eliminate one opponent i think uh back on your feet revive teammates uh, 525 oh my god 500 that's crazy uh, turn it off and on again reboot teammates that's pretty pretty explanatory uh, reel it in use fishing spots now this is pretty cool this is pretty cool I think I, I will be able to do that yeehaw ride a loot shark um, this one is really interesting if you guys don't know how to ride the loot shark I, I made a video on it uh, so just search on my channel how to ride a loot shark you should be able to find it I will post that video on the end of this video uh, probably as well uh, hooked catch fish pretty easy uh, racks to riches upgrade weapons Upgrade to gold, upgrade weapons to different rarities, common, uncommon, rare, and epic. So this one should be also easy. You will probably have to do it once. Apples to oranges, side grade a weapon. Uh, weapons expert, gather different expert uh, accolades 
pistols, assault rifles, submachine guns, shotguns, snipers, and explosives. Now for these accolades, you will have to, for example, I think deal 100 damage with each gun, about 100 to 150 damage to get the accolades. Uh, this one would probably want to be one of the difficult ones, uh, but you know, if you play Team Rumble, maybe this would be a very fast one as well. Streaking, elimination streak, accolades, you will have to have a streak of two kills, three kills, four kills, five kills, and six kills, which is not really that difficult if you play Team Rumble. Now the next one we have is first, uh, which is very cool. Uh, different first in the match accolade. So first to land, that would be uh, the, the first accolade. Next one would be to eliminate someone first, uh, to open a chest first, to fish first, to upgrade and side grade a weapon and to be first one who opened a supply drop. So uh, after that we have Centurion reach season level 100 which a lot of people are gonna get. So the next one we have is bite-sized complete quick challenges. So the next one we have is weekly challenges, complete weekly challenges. Uh, the next one is double dipping punch uh, punch punch cards uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. this one I mean to explain this you just have to do your punch cards just do the other punch cards and this one will count uh, as a punch card <laughs> I don't know it's kind of weird but it works so the next one is completionist complete punch cards uh, which is also kind of interesting all right the next one we have is leave your legacy earn legacies during season three uh, I'm not sure what this means. If you guys have any idea about leave your legacy, let me know down in the comments. I will pin your comment uh, if you guys know about it uh, because I honestly don't know what this means. Maybe it's one of those challenges like ride a shark or something like that. Maybe we will figure it out. I'm not sure what that would mean. Uh, the next one we have is green is good. Get green XP coins. Also, I make videos on those. So yeah, if you need them, you you got them over here next one is purple is precious get purple xp coins next one we have is good manners and everyone should have good manners uh thank the bus driver you will have to do it 3 10 50 times and 100 times this is going to be impossible for me because i always forget to do it now the next one we have is give it a whirl use a whirlpool so the whirlpools are that little um thing in the ocean let's say that lifts you up and you can find a lot of them. You can find one over here next to Hydra 16. You can find a giant one over here next to Sweaty Sands. Next one, you have to yeet, <laughs> throw a consumable, uh, which is pretty easy. Next one we have is shake it off, shake down people, henchmen or players, 3, 10, 50, and 100. Uh, again, pretty easy mission. And the last one is M1, weirdly specific, dance while riding a zipline in the storm which is really weirdly specific, but it's a very interesting challenge. Yeah, all of these challenges will give you a lot of XP if you guys do them. I do recommend you guys do them as um, some of them are pretty easy. Some of them are kind of hard. Uh, for example, like the ones that you have to, I don't know, deal 2.5 million damage. I think that's a bit too much Epic Games. So yeah, Fortnite has given us another reason to play the game religiously, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out other videos I have on the channel like this one for earning XP or this one for finding coins.